vibe coding. It's a concept we've all heard of, and honestly, we use it more often than we realize, whether it's spinning up front-end components with a few prompts or crafting agentic workflows that build apps from scratch. AI-assisted development is here and it's thriving. But there's one major issue I've consistently noticed across almost all AI dev tools. They can generate functional code, sure, but when it comes to structure, design, and visual elegance, it often falls flat. Ask yourself this, would you proudly ship the UI that most AI models or tools generate out of the box? The answer is most likely going to be not really, and you're not alone. That's why I'm excited to introduce to you the first ever open source AI design agent, and it lives directly within your IDE. Allow me to introduce SuperDesign, the cursor for designing. SuperDesign is an open source powerful AI design agent built for developers and designers alike. It lets you generate UI mockups, wireframes, and component layouts, works directly from natural language prompts, and seamlessly integrates with whatever IDE you have, whether that's Cursor, Windsurf, Pod Code, and even plain VS Code. With Super Design, your IDE becomes your design studio, where you don't need to actually switch tabs or export messy designs. It's fast, native, and open source. It's something that you can install really fast and it's simple as just simply clicking on this install button. But before we even do that, there's a couple of features that I want to mention. There is a product mock where you can instantly generate full UI screens from a single prompt. You can generate multiple UI components from buttons to different reusable components that could be used in different ways. You have wireframes that it could actually create, fork and iterate different things where you can duplicate and evolve designs easily. And you can even prompt to the ID to copy the prompts into your favorite ID like cursor. And then you can generate more from it afterwards. You can even connect it if you have it integrated with an ID to work on the backend system for the components that you generate using super design. I just discovered a mind blowing AI tool that changes how we work with videos forever. Most AIs can generate video, but they can't actually understand or remember it at scale. That's where Memories AI comes in. Built by two former meta researchers and powered by the world's first large visual memory model, Memory AI is gonna give AI something it's never had before, true video memory with unlimited context. For example, I can simply search up something like a white wearable camera and it will rapidly go ahead and instantly provide frame perfect answers. In this case, you can see that it provided a catalog of different videos of a white camera. And we're talking about millisecond accurate recall, zero hallucination and cross video search that lets you find anything, even a smile across entire libraries. My favorite is the video chat with persistent memory. It's like notebook LM for video. You can chat with your footage across multiple videos. No re-uploads, no lag. Creators, marketers, researchers, even developers. This is your visual memory layer for the AI age. It's still early, but the tech is real and it's evolving fast. So if you're interested, try it out with the link in the description below and head over to memories.ai. We've got free access codes coming from the world of AI community. So you can use that in the description below and come join the community on Discord as well. But with that thought, let's dive right back into today's upload. Let's now get started and showcase how you can install it. What I really want to mention before is that you can actually use this with the cloud code or cursor subscription that you already have. So rather than bringing your own API, you can just simply use the API from the subscription that you have from Anthropic or from Cursor. And to install it, it's super simple. Just go ahead to their website, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. Click on install for free and you can install it for whatever ID you have and you can configure it based off the subscription that you have for that provider. So if you have a Cursor subscription, you can use that. Or if you have a cloud code subscription, you can set it up and configure it based off the setup guide that they provide. So simply download it for whatever ID or extension that you want to use it for. You can even have this installed as a VS Code Marketplace extension. And remember, this is as simple as just simply clicking on this install button within the VS Code Marketplace. And you can trust the publisher at your own discretion and it will then rapidly go ahead and install. After it has finished installing on the left end panel, you'll be able to see that Super Design has been now installed. Now, obviously, you can use this within VS Code and then have it paired with Klein, but you can also do the exact same thing with Cursor. You can use the Cursor Composer agent with Super Design, where you can have Super Design focus on building 
different elegant front ends and then having the cursor composer focus on the back end, adding maybe the authentication system, connecting different MCPs and much more and making this whole process super fluent. But regardless of whatever app or ID you're using, simply go ahead to the extension. And then what I want you to do is first configure the API key, open the settings tab. And this is where you can set whatever model that you want to use. So if you want to select the cloud for Opus, you can select that and then provide the Anthropic API key. You have different providers, even open router and open AI with open router. You can actually provide a free API that they actually are given out for different models like the DeepSeq model or even something like the new Kimi K2. And this way you're going to be able to use those models, those open source models completely for free with super design. Essentially, once you have provided the API keys, you can simply go ahead and you can start using the design functionality of SuperDesign. You can send in something like help me design a calculator UI, and it's going to rapidly go ahead and display what it's creating within the actual SuperDesign canvas. So right now it is actually creating the basic components for that UI and creating the plan for it. And then once you approve that plan, it will then display it over here. So now what you're seeing is the theme that it's focusing on. It is also working on the UI components. So you can see that it is working on creating these different external components to add to your design. And this is where it'll work on the brand, the surface, the interactive colors, as well as the data colors, as well as the different components. And after it has written the code as well as the design component, you can then visualize it within the super design canvas. And this is the component that it was able to generate. Now let's open this up to see what more can you do to this? There's actually a lot of features that they provide where you can customize different components within this canvas itself. This is where you can create multiple variations of the design that was created. So if you are a uh, front end developer and you want to see different sorts of outcomes being tested, you can use this feature to help you iterate and generate more things. You actually have a very own iterate with feedback feature where you can simply go back into the chat panel and then you can request the feature to iterate on. So if you do not like the color scheme, you can go back into the chat, chat panel and say, change up the colors for the calculator to something like yellow. And then you can send it in and it's going to work on iterate, iterating on that feature, that feedback that we have given. You can copy the prompt, you can copy the design path as well. And you can see with the new feedback, it has provided the new color scheme for the different variations that it will focus on. And there we go. We now have our second variation of the calculator, which is more relevant to being a white and yellow uh, color scheme. And you can see that it's working on different sophisticated themes with the yellow uh, feedback that I had provided. You also have the ability to upload your own wireframes. You can even add a directory that you want to work with. And you can also have it so that you can change the view to a phone, uh, iPad, or like a computer. And this way you can get a better visualization of these UI components. Next up, I want to test out how well super design is in building front end designs for a SaaS landing page. Typically, we usually test out different models for this particular prompt to see how well it is in terms of its design. And obviously with front end designs, it is something that has become a common thing to test models upon, but it ends up generating like a tacky design or something that we've typically seen a lot. But let's now see what super design is able to do with its additional tool set, as well as its capability to work with models better and generating UI components. And there we go. Just like that, we have the SaaS landing page that it was able to focus on, and it did a pretty great job in generating the base structure of it. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below, or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's basically it for Super Design Dev. This is the cursor for design, and I highly recommend that you take a look at this with the links in the description below, especially if you're looking to generate better looking designs with AI. You can generate perfect looking designs, deploy multiple of them simultaneously, or can iterate different designs that you find on the web, integrate with your IDs like cursor, windsurf, VS Code, design components, design with wireframes, 
and so much more. So I highly recommend that you take a look at this as this is completely open source and you can get started with it today. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll leave all these links in the description below. Subscribe to the second channel, join our newsletter, join our Discord, follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos so that you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.